let's get started. And let me talk to you about the topic of had better. What is this? What is this had better? Well, had better, we use had better when we are speaking and when we are writing to give strong advice or to tell someone, including ourselves, what to do. For example, I'd better go home. It's getting late. Notice how we use here the I, the apostrophe, and the D. That's the contraction. We can say, I had better. Of course, you can say, I had better. It's very common when people are speaking to use the contraction. So I'd better go home. It's getting late, right? This is this is strong advice, right? Or here's another example. You'd better not drink if you are going to drive. You'd better not drink if you are going to drive. How do we use it? Well, had better it, you know, if you don't if you don't do something, it like implies that something negative will happen if you don't do something. It's like a threat. A threat in English, in Spanish, a threat is amenaza, a warning is una advertencia. Es como una, puede sonar como una advertencia, como, como una, una amenaza, ¿sí? Algo negativo puede pasar si no hacemos algo. This is where we use had better. Here is an example. He'd better give me my money back or he'll be in trouble. He'd better give me my money back or he'll be in trouble. Here's another example. You'd better behave yourself if you don't want me to get really angry. Okay, so the word had had is in the past. Had is in the past. But when we use had better, we're really talking about the future. Because if you don't do this, then that is going to happen like a cause and effect. Here is an example. You'd better call me soon. I'll be worried. After had better, when we use had better, the verb that we are going to use after better, it's always going to be normal. We're not going to change it. We don't use to. So we say, I'd better take a look. We don't say, I'd better to take a look. No, I'd better take a look. I'd better read the movie. I'd better uh, watch the series. I'd better take my medicine. Uh, and if we're going to do like a negative sentence, then we say, had better not. And of course, you can use the contraction. You can use, you can say that, you know, apostrophe D, the better and the not. So had better not. This is for negative. So but positive sentence, you would better call me soon. Negative sentence, you had not better call me soon. Or you'd better not call me soon. Uh, here's another example. You'd better not take a word, say a word about this. You better not say a word about this. Take out this. Say a word about this. There you go. That's better. There you go. Hello to Esmeralda, who also just joined the class. Esmeralda, nice to have you here. So Good you evening, better... teacher. Good evening, Esmeralda. Here's another example. I'd better not forget. I'd better not forget. It's like in Spanish, es mejor que. Es mejor que. Es mejor que no, o es mejor que. So if you don't do this, something negative might happen. All right, so in spoken English, of course, like I said, we usually use the contraction. Instead of saying had the better, we use the d and the better. She'd better, I'd better, we'd better, etc. In formal English, it's even very common where people just say better. They don't use the had. Grammatically, this is not correct, but people speak like this. When you're having conversations, when you watch movies, when you watch series, when you listen to music, you're going to see this. You're going to see sometimes they do, don't use the had. And that's okay, too. Here's an example. You better go home. So really, the correct, grammatically correct way is to say, you had better go home. But when people are speaking, it's very common in informal English to see this. You better go home. I better get it right this time. 
And um, there's a little difference because should we use for advice, right? And had better, as I told you before, we use for something negative. We use should to give advice. And usually we use should to say that something is something is good. It's a good thing. And we use had better to express urgent advice, like an emergency or a warning. Remember, warning is advertencia, with bad consequences if you don't follow it. So here's an example. Here we use should. You should try this cake. It's delicious, right? If you don't eat the cake, nothing bad is going to happen, nothing negative. So we use should. But we say, he'd better hurry up or he'll miss the bus. Él se debe moverse o va, 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 no alcanzar el bus, right? So it's a negative consequence. Let's practice together, okay? Here I have a sentence and I need you to help me eh, to complete the sentence. Johan, Johan, my man, don't let me die. Help me with this sentence. Can you help me now or are you still driving? I think Johan is still driving. Uh, I'm going to ask Kesia. Kesia won't let me die. Kesia, you never let me die. I know you're not going to let me die here. What do we use here? How do we say it? You had better buy the tickets now. Good job. Great job, Kesia. You had better buy the tickets now is correct. Uh, Esmeralda, I know that you just came in, but you want to try? You want to try this one? And you had better not buy another car now. Good job, Esmeralda. Good job. Remember, we don't use to, right? We just use the negative or or just the verb. You had better not buy another car now is correct. Thank you very much, Esmeralda. I am now going to go to Has Lady, the lady in the house. Has Lady, help me with this sentence, please. You had better take this medicine. Good job. That's right. You had better take this medicine. Good job. Uh, I'm going to ask Isabel. Isabel, what do we do here? What do you think? We had better not depend on him. Very good. We had better not depend on him. So... Very good. This is a negative sentence. Good job. Good job. All right. Let's see. Uh, Jose. Jose, can you help me with this one, please? You had better stop it. Stop fighting with her. Very good. You had better stop fighting with her. It's correct. Good job, Jose. Good job. All right. And uh, this one is for Kesia. Kesia, help me with this one, please. Yeah. You had better lock the door before you leave. You leave. Good job. Good job, Kesia. You had better lock the door before you leave is correct. 